Cole from Cosmopolitan Magazine in America. Now you spent uh, about an hour on stage with Sarah Jessica Parker. You were talking power, fashion, women. What, what exactly did you guys come to the conclusion of? Well, we came to the conclusion there need to be more women in Hollywood. Actually, it was interesting. I was reminded when we were discussing only 23% of dialogue on Hollywood movies is actually spoken by women. The rest of it is a lot of shooting and banging and a lot of swearing by men. But we felt that women's stories needed to be told more. And Sarah Jessica Parker is such an interesting actress because she went on to be a producer. She's now executive producing a new show for HBO, which of course was the home of Sex and the City, called Into the Fire, which is about middle-aged ladies having affairs. So I think there's going to be a big, big audience for that. I could see that in, the, in the actual live audience at Cannes, there was a lot of, oh, really, tell me more. <laughs> do you think that sh what she's been able to do there is bring her audience with her on, on their life journey? Is that the extension of the story? I think Sex and the City was one of those steeples on the landscape of television which, which really changed the ability for women to act and tell stories on television. You know, the, you think of Mary Tyler Moore, you think of Marlo Thomas in That Girl as game-changing shows. Sex and the City was the next generation of that. Sarah Jessica Parker's brilliant portrayal of Carrie Bradshaw spoke to a generation of women who suddenly thought, oh, television does understand my story, they do get me. And I think that was the power of it. And uh, I think she's been an absolute game changer, I really do. It's, a, it's an overused expression about people, but I think her role of Carrie Bradshaw really made young women feel much more comfortable about who they were. Must have been so interesting for you because that was a fictional depiction of your world. What, what do you think that's not accurate today about that depiction of your world? How has digital, how has everything changed for fashion, for publishing? Well, digital obviously has changed everything. I mean, mobile has changed everything. But actually, the issues that people are dealing with are still exactly the same in terms of, you know, if you think the show was about friendship, it was about women wrestling with, uh, do I want a career? Do I want a baby? How can I manage to do that? How can I have it all? Which was the expression Helen Gurley Brown invented when she was editing Cosmopolitan in the US, you know, 50 years ago now. So I think the debates are still very much the same. I've spent a lot of time this week with Sheryl Sandberg. We had a, a panel yesterday with Lean In about creating new images to represent women in powerful positions with Getty in the media because um, there's a shortage of them and it's sort of extraordinary that 50 years on from Helen arriving at Cosmo and throwing out having it all and everybody you know, leaping on her and saying, yes, everybody must do this. Now we're agonizing about having it all. But it's been a very interesting week in terms of women understanding their progress. I was going to ask you, a lot of people come in, do their talk, jet out, sometimes on a helicopter, sometimes on those giant yachts. You're still here meeting people, talking, learning. What's impressed you in the things that you've seen it's this week? It's possible it's a little sad that I'm still here, um, but I'm having such a good time. They're going to have to drag me away. Um, honestly, I've just been on so many yachts at this point, so many boats, including actually the most fun, which was the sort of Twitter boat that picked us up from Eden Rock to bring us back. And you sort of sit astride an inflatable sort of banana and you hold on for dear life and then you play across the Bay of Cannes. I was very glad that we arrived because otherwise there would have been 12 Twitter executives at the bottom of the Bay and CNN could have had another ratings boost. <laughs> so there you have it, the tip on how to get arrange your transport around Cannes, only for the adventurous. Thank you so much for your time <laughs> oh, and continue pleasure. to enjoy your week. That is, you. that is Ogilvy TV here in Cannes, day four, Brazil day.